<laughs> What's up, YouTube? My name's Quickie. Welcome back to the channel. Hiya. Wide angle day. Um, hey. Steve always had a look at this and really, really likes it, but we are going to chop it up and change it. <laughs> a well, no, a, a little bit. A little bit. But we always said that anyway. We said that yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't the, the, the finished article. No, it's certainly strong enough though. And it has come out really, really good. I'm well chuffed with this. So what we're going to do is um, this bit here overhangs the back of the, the seat unit. And we're going to take that um, off. We just don't like it. <laughs> so, no. But this was always one of the routes that we was going to go down. So the idea is, is that this bit is going to get lopped off and the seat is, uh, the seat is going to butt up to this plate, plate here. Yep. This face of the, um, the seat hump. And it's all just going to be one level. Because that way, if you look at the, the way the tank sort of slopes and then comes into this, we don't really want to mess that up. And having a big chunky thing down here is just going to screw with it, I think. Yep. No. So um, it might be nice to have, like when it all gets upholstered and stuff, just to have like a thin strip of, of, of the upholstery kind of come over this. That could look quite cool. And it'd also stop any water ingress as well. But we've got to have a chat with the upholsterer and the stuff. Run. Yeah, but you're going to wash it. Yeah, but do you want do you want water in all be, this? It'll be dry clean. <laughs> ECU, <laughs> M unit. <laughs> well, we'll just drill some holes for the water to drain out. Well, there, there is going to be in, in that corner. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not. There's well, going to no, be I'm a joking. hole in that corner. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So first thing we're going to do but is to trim well this down. I well pleased turned out. I think that worked. I think I think that worked well. It's it's sweet. I like it because all the mountains are captive. I I do like that. So that's the first job of the day. We have got a whole truckload to get through, and I ain't gonna tell you what it all is now, because it will take ages. So we'll just explain that bit when we get to it. This is the first thing. He's got some foam as well. So once we get this fitting how we want it to, he's gonna stick some foam on here and start shaping it, and he's got a rasp, and we've got like stuff that we can use. Um, I will say that this isn't necessarily the foam to use as, as for the actual seat. No. Uh, basically, this is just something to get an idea of the shape and how it feels when sat on the bike. So, this is the stuff he's got. Um, it's quite high density and it's quite thick as well. It's, it, all it is is a furniture foam, same as they use in caravan or car seat. Yeah. So this will obviously all get slimmed down and stuff anyway, and we're gonna stick it on and sort of shape it and get it to this, the point where it kind of, that's how much foam we want on it, and this is the shape it's gonna be. Cause then yeah. we can just give it to the upholsterer with this on it and go make it like that, but pretty. Possibly. And then, and then <laughs> she can rip this off and uh, do the job properly instead of our effort. <laughs> right, so that's it. That's job one. Let's do that. Very conscious at the moment that we can take stuff away, but we can't add it very easy. We're just not making another one. Yeah. No! Well, I reckon that line there is the one to go for. Because then it's a little bit of an infill in there, but this essentially mm. would be where the release lead will go for the seat. And that will actually fit really nicely in there. So you just get your finger behind it and literally pull it. If you mount on a little pivot, Cable's pretty much the right length as well. Yeah, it is. I know, I know yeah. exactly where the cable is. Because it, it sits right there. Yeah. So it would literally just be a, a pull lever that's there, pop the seat off. And then this side will just fill that gap in 
It needs a little bit more fiberglass on the back, I think. A little bit, not a lot. <coughs> and then I just extend the tank down to to take up that that triangle. But I reckon that is probably the where to go on the seat. Sorry to walk in front of the camera. Whereas, if anything, I prefer the if we're going to keep all of that all of the height, I prefer the curve that we've got here that we done that, that we did originally. Which one? This one. No, it's just me goofing about. Yeah. Which is different to what you've done on this side. You've got oh, I've only got this. It's that one there. No, it's that one there. Yeah, the one on that side is that one there. Yeah. I just didn't want it to be too sticky out of the front. I think the corners are sticking out too much. Whereas if we make that curve a little bit more, you see what I mean? It sort of sticks out here. Whereas if we come to that curve, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah, big fucking ears. Yeah. Whereas if we just curve it there. It, it, you, it's, it's not going to catch, it's not going to... No. Whereas if it's coming over the tube and it's more pointy, it's, mm. it is going to... Imagine, you know, once you're hanging off the side, you get your knee, inside your knee on it and all that kind of stuff, you're going to be feeling that edge of the seat. Because it sticks out past the frame tubes. Yeah. No, no, I, I can't argue with that. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I do. And then we can just put a little bit of, it's only going to take a couple of loads of fiberglass in there, just patchwork it. So we scuff the shit out the back of it with the engine grinder. A tiny little bit of red <coughs> fiberglass, we can patchwork it, just to take up that gap. And then just sand it. And then we'll just sand it. And if I need to just paint a coat of resin over it because it's a bit fluffy, uh, you just good. paint a bit of resin over it to stop it being fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're agreed. We're gonna, we're gonna go, go for a, go for a radius round. <laughs> that looks so much better mate that Does, is it? basically what i've had in my head over the course of this week that is where i thought we'd sort of maybe Stick. not 100 percent finished but 90 percent finished still needs a little bit of trimming yet yeah but i can see the lines that we need to use even clearer now going down our side yeah yeah, yeah. but that's the way that it has to be otherwise i think we lose it just takes uh, all this uh, bolt, nasty, yeah. big lump. But we look, but, but we, we, what we gain on here, we lose on, we, 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 we lost on, on the nice curve on the seat, seat arm. Oh yeah. Um, Still a little bit. We're going to have to, if I get the grinder and I shave it down so it's the same height as this, I need to do that on the bike. And then once we've done that, I think we're gonna need to do a little bit of patchwork on fiberglass just to take up, because the, there's, that size not too bad, but once I get this down, I don't know. But it depends on what angle we're gonna cut out going down here. This is straight down, I think, because this goes straight down. So this will come down straight to meet it, following that line and then the front will be curved to match yeah. in with this curve here. But suddenly, that's 
not big and clumpy anymore, isn't it? Yeah. I'm liking that. Right, where's the grinder? Right, so this is where we've ended up. This is what the seat pan is going to look like. There is still a little bit of monkeying about that's needed. Yeah. So we chop this back bit off, which is all good. Makes it a lot less chunky, a lot more streamlined than everything else. I'm liking it. We trimmed it up both sides, so you get a cheeky little bit of tube showing. And we've got the same radius on either end. And this kind of matches up with that bottom body line as well, which I do quite like. This little triangle, I still hate. Um, I need to extend the tank down to kind of take up that gap. Um, and we have got a little bit of a gap around the back here on the front. So I think that's just where we put the duct tape and then the strips oh, and plastic and all that stuff in there. It's just kind of took up yeah. the gap. So I'm going to do a little bit of patchwork in the back just so I get a really nice snug fit all the way around with just enough gap for the material to get under. And that's it. That's job done. Um, but I think that's quite minimal and it's good isn't it I'm, yeah. i am liking that's, it that's the way that i envisage the back being yeah cool in terms of how we make up the final seat so for now i'm calling this done and i'll just do that little patchwork bit in the week and yeah jobs well, and i'll get that done before what's his chops what's her chops dawn dawn <laughs> before she comes and has a look at the seat. Yeah, and we've got a lot of measurements to take. Yeah, we've got loads to do, mate. I've got a whole list. Yeah. But it's, it is like quite a nice... I, I'm really I'm really happy with how that's come out. It's all right, isn't it? And it's solid as... You can even take my chunky goodness. Ooh, you put it. All your chunky goodness. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah. Right. On to the next thing. Coffee? Fuck yes. Right, we've got a lot of dicking about to do now. <laughs> um, basically, the Simon Rolls from Southwest Bikers, um, he's the fellow that's going to be doing all the suspension and stuff for us. So he's dead good with like rebuilds and revalving it and blah, 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 blah. But he put us in touch with a fella called Mark. Mark. Some, Mark. On Twitter. Yeah. Mark on Twitter from, what was it? Enigmatic Engineer. Enigmatic Engineer. Apparently he is like an engineer. He does loads of work with bikes and various other bits and pieces. He's got a killer jigsaw that he's just fixed up. Yeah. Or just finished. It's got bits of John Hopkins bike on it. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Um, but we got, I've got some concerns about the geometry on this bike purely because of the changes that's been made to it. So, to we well, yeah, okay, you did, actually, it's all your fault. So, the front part of the frame, this bit is a Bandit 600. This bit I've made, but that don't change anything to do with geometry. Yeah, However, the, I don't matter, that's no. not a geometry thing. But then, the wheels, the swing arm, the shock, the yokes, the forks, the front wheel, all that is off a GSX R1000. Now, fundamentally, there's some big ass differences between this and a regular Bandit as it started. <laughs> Starting off with, the swing arm is 70 mil longer than the standard one. I've measured it on my bike, you know, the big bruise that sits in the corner. This has also got a much different stance to it. This, this thing is doing a push up, basically. <laughs> a bit like a bulldog, isn't it? Yeah, so, a bit like me. It's the, the biggest difference being is that the forks uh, end to end are 70 mil shorter. Yeah, so it's 70 mil shorter at the front, it's 70 mil longer in the back, so the whole thing's doing a push up and that changes the geometry on this massively. Um, the rake on this is about three degrees off what a GSX R1000 would be and it's two degrees off the other way what a Bandit would be. 
So nicely in the middle. Well, uh, yeah, I, I don't think so. So anyway, no, it's definitely not. We need to sort the geometry out, and we need to sort it out before we crack on with some other bits and pieces. So what Mark's going to do is giving us a whole list of measurements that we need to take. So this is things like the length of the swing arm, the pivot point position, the length of the shot, the rake, the trail, the blah, 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 the wheelbase, you name it, including weight. And we've got to get all that down. He's going to stick it into his computer and he's going to work out geometry for us. Because then he gives us a list of numbers that we have to build it to. So it handles like a bike and not the shopping trolley. Uh, excuse me. What? It goes fantastically in a straight line. It just takes a bit of muscling around the corner at the moment. Which is not a good thing if we are going to put this on track. I didn't say it was a good thing. I just said it's just a fact. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So we're cleared out the workshop. We're going to get this off the bench, get the tape measures out and squares and various other bits and pieces and just have at it. We've got a whole list of stuff to do. <laughs> no, lots, lots and lots and lots. So anyway, there you go, that's what we're up to. Top tip for you, if you're doing fiberglassing and your bike's on a bench, cover your bench up properly, that way you don't fiberglass resin the jack to the bench and you can't get the thing off without the help of a chisel. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Uh, some of the stuff that he's on about is basically sag measurements. Um, so this is, we know all the suspension's got to be reworked and changed by Simon, so this is yeah. all going to change, but at least we can measure it as it is now, um, and that will give them both an idea as to what how it's set up and stuff, and then they can work out spring rates as needed and blah, blah, blah. Um, so all I'm using to figure it out is one of these things, it's called a slacker, um, and it's really quite good, it just takes all the guesswork out of it basically. There essentially is a magnet on the back of it, so you stick it on the bike somewhere and it's got like a little pulley thing that comes out. And as you pull it out, it knows how far you've pulled it out and it gives you a number. So that's what we're going to use to measure sag. So we need the jack underneath it, so we can underneath the centre stand. So that will go on there and that will go to there.
Right, so that's off, right? So if we zero that now, okay? So that's the shock fully extended, okay? So if you now wind the jack off, so it's sitting under its own weight and we can pull the jack out, Pull it out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, take your hands off it. So we've got 10 mil of sag in the back. If we push it down and release it, it returns to 10 mil. And if we lift it up and release it, it goes back to 10 mil. So there's no stiction in here either, which is a good thing. Okay. There's no resistance in the, the linkages and stuff, yeah, so basically it's the turn. lift it up, both of us? No, because we just did that with the jack. Okay. So, static sag is 10 mil. Yeah. Right, now you sit on it and put your feet on the pegs. When you're ready. There's only so much room on that SD card. <laughs> Wow! Normal riding position, please. Thirty-three mil a sag. <laughs> the bike's got a really skinny back, and you ain't. But it's good to floss, eh? So, what does it say? Thirty-three. Right. And then release it. What's it say? Thirty-four. Thirty-three. Right, we'll call that thirty-three point five laden sag. It's good, isn't it? Brilliant. It takes all that faffing about out with tape measures and oh, not off. Jobs are good. Isn't it? Right, so now we just got to do the same thing on the front. So. If you grab hold of that clip on, all we've got to do is lift it up so there's no weight on the front wheel at all. That's the top Zero it, put it back. 24. So lift it up, let it go again, slowly. 24. Push it down, let it up. 32. So we have got stiction in the front. Yes, but how much of that to do is how, how, how it's set up at the moment? No, it's just sticks and that's just resistance of, of the internal okay. gubbins going on. Which is all going to be changed in any case. So, if we take a bottom measurement, 33, lift it up again, let it down slowly, that's 20, half it, 12 and a half, 12 and a half? No, can't be. No. What did I say the first one was? Right, hang on, push it down. Let go. 32. 32. Right. Lift it up, let it down. 20. 20. 32, 20. 11, on top of that. 32. My brain, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> Matt did this. Yeah, I know. Did, did yeah, you watch it's you work it out? The yeah. test yeah. that Andy did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'll feel another video coming on. Maybe we need I to do a parody. I know how you feel, Matt. I know yeah. how you feel. Right, so we got 32. 32. And then resting back down, we've got 20. So that gives yeah. us a difference of 12. So, add 6 to that, 26. That's what we say. 26 is what the static sag on the front is. Write it down before we change the minds. Are you sure that? You... That's it, that's it, that's right. Because we lift it up and let it down, it's 20. Push it down, and it come up, it's 32. 
difference of 12, half that to get the midway point is 6, add 6 to the 20, 26. So 26 mil is static sag. Right. Now, oh, I know what's coming now. I'll never got to get back on. You need to put all your chunky goodness over on, the front. Feet on the pegs, normal riding position. Come on. Yes, all right. <laughs> I'll shut up. <laughs> Does it count that way? Go on, and on, and on the things. Ah, got a stitch. Go on. <laughs> Feet on the pegs, yeah? Um, See, usually I'd be up there like that. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> right. And then I wake 47. up. Oh, you don't move. 62. Yeah. Sixty-two. It, it likes sixty-two, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I, I. I dread to think what the comment's going to be when we... Uh, 48. 50. 50. And the thing is, I only weigh 8 stone. Right, so that's a difference of 12, so we're going to call it 56. That's a difference of what? 56 is your laden sag. Jesus. How is Jim going, by the way? All right. Are you doing it? Yeah. Buns of steel on route. Getting there. I've been doing that uh, 100 rep thing that you've done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the answer? 52? 56. Oh, shit. 56. It is a top toy, this. You don't use it very often, but it just takes all the guesswork out of it. I, I, I do want to make... Oh, we need to make a note as well. There's 12 mil stitching in the front. Yeah. I do, I do want, I do want it, I do want to make a note in this video that n none of this has been set up suspension wise, front and rear. It never, it, it, the bike never got to that point. Yeah, I think I guessed that. <laughs> right, you got to move your foot out of the way, mate. Um, foot peg height is 337mm, there you go, the clip ones that I want to put on it are 25mm high, oh right okay yeah, well I'll probably end up changing everything again anyway, um, so end of the clip on, center is about eight five five mil so plus 25 call it 880 of course a lot of faffing isn't it it is it's a lot of faffing and I ride like a fucking plum anyway. So take it take it in, take it All this is going to matter nothing when it's upside down in the kitty litter. Yep. <laughs> What's next? Also need static weight on the ground on front wheel and two on rear wheel separately. Can done with done with a simple bathroom scale. I've got a bathroom scale. I have. I've got a bathroom. Is it with you on it? I don't think so, no. Right, bathroom scales. I don't think the bathroom scales go that high. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and to be fair, they probably need another battery anyway. Yep. <laughs> Why does everything in here need new batteries? <laughs> Last time you weighed yourself. I mean, like everything, everything needs new batteries. Mind you, I did kind of set them all up at the same time, so it kind of makes sense, really, doesn't it? 
Eight. If you think about it. One. I mean, what are we missing? <laughs> the plot. <laughs> There's no oil in it, for one. That's got away a bit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, there's no oil in the engine. Yeah, but we know how much it takes. We can just add that to it. And we need a set of carbs. Wait for a set of carbs. Well, we, we still haven't got an exhaust system on it yet either, mate. Mm -hmm. So I think what is going to happen is once we've done all this and we've given it to him and he's done all his maths and his homework and he's come up with this whizzy number, we're going to set it up to that and then we're going to finish building the bike and then we're going to scratch an organ and go, yeah, it's all wrong, we've got to do it again. <laughs> And we just do it again, but at least it will get us sort of in the ballpark, you know? Okay. I mean, it ain't going to be spot on, but it ain't going to be horribly off, is it? No. No, I know, but... It just... And it probably seems like a pointless exercise, but... No, I, no, I, I know it's not a pointless exercise. And I know the geometry is... is individual. Individual? Yeah. That, that was the most positive way I can explain it. Yeah? But I know the shops aren't set up. I do think we're jumping the gun, but he wants to get a crack on with it, so he's having it. I, I, think, I, I think I suppose what he's trying to say is if we've got some measurements on it, he can give Simon a hey. in the right direction in terms of what he does. Yeah. Well, there we go. I weigh ninety-one point one kilos. That's really good. You'll go. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do that one, Cody, did you? Yeah. <laughs> right. So. Right. Let's get it out of the chalk. This is where I break my scales. Maximum one hundred and eighty kilos. Mm. Good job it's not with me on it. You're going to be all right. Well, there's tempered, isn't it? I don't know. For brakes, I needed a new one anyway. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Oh. Right, we're going to lift it and put it on. We're not going to roll it on because that will quite happily put a dink in the I day. I don't think we can lift it. Yeah, we can. Has it shit itself? Oh, no. 90.1. The front of the bike weighs less than me. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> not less than me. We should weigh everything. We should <laughs> not. <laughs> right. What was it? 90.1 or something? Can we put it back in the chock? No. We can't? No. Just grab hold the frame there. Ah, you got it? Yeah. <laughs> well, stand it upright then. Right, I'm calling that... 77. 77. Right. Can you remember the numbers? <laughs> Nine, what, uh, 77, <coughs> 90... 90. We can always rewind the film if we have to. Seventy-seven and ninety point one. Right. I'm running out of batteries here. <laughs> Seventy-seven and ninety point one. How much do I think you weigh? Um Don't try lifting me up. Well, I'm half the man that you are. <laughs> God damn it. I reckon 100 and... hundred and... Don't do that, it's not helping. It's all wobbling about. <laughs> I reckon 125 kilos, and I'm being kind, because I really think like 135. <laughs> Come on, though, I won't tell anybody. No, I'm not doing it. Do it! I'm not doing it. 
to know. We're going to need to know. The okay. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do a damn more thing on that unless you do this. Mate, but I'm fucking embarrassed. What? Well, it's, it's nothing. It's the heaviest I've ever been. Which is the reason why I need to go to the gym and lose weight. That was a good guess, though, right? That was a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> You, if you wonder why I'm a, a bit conscious. A bit conscious? Yeah. Can I let you into a secret? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did we say the number out loud? No, we didn't say the number out loud. Yeah. That's why I didn't say the number out loud. All right. I just said it was quite a good guess. It was a good guess. First or the second one? Let's not go there. Both were quite good. It wasn't bad. There you go. So, everybody's, you can imagine what the comments are going to be. Yeah, well, no, knowing you, you're going to be sort of like, get a quick bike sticker if you can guess the correct weights. <laughs> <laughs> get something really cheap that I haven't even bought yet. Yeah. Right, let's get it off the chop and get it back on the ramp. Right. That's all right, isn't it? That's not all right, is it? Right, go on then. Oh, hang on. You sure? Yep. When you're ready. Right, hold that thought. Right then, fun filled day was had by all. <laughs> Busy day. I'm liking this a lot more now that we trimmed it down. Yeah. I'm liking that a lot more. It just kind of follows the shape. And if you imagine this with a little bit of padding, that's, that's going to be, that's, that's going to work. It's going to be a treat. And it does, uh, he does fit quite well. Yeah. I can tuck myself in the back. He's got about, at the minute, if he sits on, he's got about two and a half inches wiggle room. So by the time we get a bit of padding on there as well, you're going to be nice and snug on it. Yeah. It's, you know, it's going to be good. And it's a solo anyway, so, yeah. you know, I don't okay, think any, I don't fine. think anybody's going to want to perch on the back of that. <laughs> <laughs> or if they do, I don't want them riding with me. Quite. We've had a prop. well, have we had a night? No, we haven't had a nightmare. <sighs> We've had a bit of a brain fart, both of us. Yeah, major brain fart. <laughs> Doing all those dimensions and everything else, the, the whole reason, just to kind of backtrack and make sure you get where we're coming from, this bike is bits of all sorts of different bikes. So the Frame 600, this bit was all made by myself. The tank stock, the engine's out of something completely different, and all the running gear, so swing arm forks, yokes, all that malarkey, it's, the wheels. It's actually a mix. So. Is, is all off a of Jixa Thau. So, Geometry is never going to be spot on, but it is massively, massively <coughs> important. And this is the stage where we need to be considering it. Now, we haven't got all the weight on the bike. It's got no oil in it. It doesn't have an exhaust on it. It's got no carbs oh, on it, chain. all that sort of stuff. So it is going to get a little bit heavier. Um, but basically, we want to start thinking about it and hashing out a bit of a plan. Um, all the suspension is going to get reworked by Sai. So yep. there's going to have different spring rates in it, different, different you know, springs in the front, different oil weight potentially. Well, he's, he's got to sort all that out, but he needs a, basically a bit of a start off a 10. So it took ages, ages and ages. But we've got all the measurements done. Steve-O's going to send them off to the man and to Cy. Yep. Cy can work out what he needs, or Mark can work out what Cy needs, and then Cy can get it sorted and he can have the suspension and sort all that. Yeah, there, 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 there's some black magic involved yeah. in something somewhere. And, and uh, then once it's all done and it's all back on the bike and we have an exhaust system and everything else, we've got to measure the whole damn thing again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because there's going to be things like with different spring rates, yeah. we're going to get different sag. And with different, we're having a different... Um, top mount made for the, the rear shock and that's essentially going to be our ride height adjuster 
Um, the one that we've got in there at the minute ain't long enough and it needs to be longer. Um, so potentially the angler, the swing arm and all that stuff is going to change again. So we're going to have to go through this whole exercise again. But at least it means we're in the ballpark now. Um, so we ain't going to have any major surprises later on. But that's, that's the idea. Well, really. I wouldn't necessarily, there won't be any major surprises, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all right, be all right. Um, so as far as fabrication goes, um, the seat, there's just a little bit of patchwork to do around here. I've got to extend the tank down, yeah. which I still haven't got the argon for, so I do need to get that sorted, because I ain't going to do it with a MIG. I'm, I'm doing TIG on that. I think it'll be kinder to it. Um, then it's kind of time to start thinking exhaust systems, really. Yeah. Um, big fabrication pieces left is the exhaust system, the all cooler surround. Um, what else was there? Oh, we've got to take some lugs off the forks and stuff like yeah, that, but that's, that's easy enough. Easy um, but they're the two biggies, really. So, what do you want to do first? Let me do either first, really. Go for a pint. <laughs> oh, look. Comes with a shove. I wonder where that went. Um, uh, I'm, I, I, I'm thinking I think exhaust. I'm thinking exhaust next. Yeah, but I'm thinking let's whip the lugs off. Yeah, I'll do that during the week. And I can take the calipers away and make sure, because they've been sitting for ages in dust and shit, so I can take the calipers away. Oh yeah, we can put them through the ultrasonic bath, to be honest. The yeah. whole thing okay. needs to be cleaning stuff anyway, yeah. so. So, yeah. But we're not at the cleaning stage yet. So no, I think, I during the week, I'll get the seat finished up, do that little bit of patchwork fiberglass and blah, blah, blah. I'll delug the forks. I will get the argon so I can do the tank. But I think the next big thing is gonna be the exhaust system. Okay. I reckon. Well, we had some ideas about that today, didn't we? We've had some stupid ideas today. I think I, I think it was a bloody good idea, personally, but uh, we won't be doing that. Well, we ain't gonna um, we ain't gonna tell you what it is yet. You're gonna have to wait and see that one. But with the exhaust, you want to do something a little bit differently, and Matt's to blame. It is all his fault. It's isn't all it? squarely on him. He shouldn't have done that last video. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what we're doing. Thank you very much for joining us. Do Thank appreciate you. it. Keep your comments coming as well, because they're gold. I'm loving all that. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Cheers. Laters.